2019 has been an absolutely amazing year for Tech Yes City. And within that year, we have done some really good used price performance builds. And today, we're gonna to take a look at the top five builds and why they're so special as well as some extra insight into these builds and why I like them so much, as well as saying some details that were actually not in the video originally. So let's get on with this list. And then also at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about a special used hustle that I got right here before the end of the year. So strap on your used price performance capes and let's get into this list. Coming in at number five was a PC that I built for the purpose of playing a game, Anthem. Now, Anthem aside, I didn't really care too much for this game. It was pretty cool, but it had a pretty hefty price tag. This build signified some really cool shuffle. And what I mean by that is I got this case for 10 US dollars. It was called the Lian Li P80N-B, and it was a full-sized ATX case. And upon putting the power supply in, I was thinking to myself, wow, these cables don't even reach far enough. So what I decided to do with this build, I decided to get cable extensions and add in the red LED bling. And this was one of those builds that I've done on the channel where I had to clean it up, give it tech yes loving, of course. But after that, and also after adding the cable extensions and all the bling, this build just turned out really nice. I remember going back through all my builds this year and even in the last couple of years, this one has easily turned out to be one of the best looking builds I've done. This build just simply ended up looking different and the case's build quality itself was phenomenal. And another thing about it was the price performance wasn't that shabby too, especially coming out before Zen 2. And we got an RX 570 and an i5 4590 in there for under $250. Now after building this gaming PC, I look back at it and I just quite simply miss that case. And if I do come into one into the future, I'm definitely gonna be keeping it. That case is a keeper. Let's move on now to number four, where we've got here the i3 build that I pieced together for 64 US dollars. This one, of course, had the usual tech yes loving involved, but it was such a cheap entry point into playing games like CSGO, Dota 2, and Fortnite. However, another thing about this build was I went into a mode called story mode, and I talked about the history of Tech Yes City and how I began to be the character involved and what got me into flipping and doing the hustle in used tech. And it actually didn't start with tech at all. It started with used car parts. So if you guys have a bit of spare time over the holidays and you wanna go down memory lane, then this is the video that's definitely gonna do it as well as me throwing in some music that helped me through some tough times over 10 years ago, which was a really weird point where I'd just come off the back of graduating from university and I'd gotten into uh, going overseas to Japan where I'd met one of my ex, ex, ex girlfriends and I was staying with her and I just got into this rhythm of teaching English and after that, I discovered what began the turning crap into gold formula. Now coming in at number three was a build that I did earlier this year, or actually at the start of this year, when I was in Vegas. And this was against another YouTuber called Christopher Yee. We had the Yee vs. Yes challenge where Christopher Yee had been watching my used price performance hustle and he wanted to see it firsthand. He wanted to know how I roll. And I said, if I was going into this competition, I would need a car or I'd need transport of some sort. So he offered to drive me around to get the deals that I needed. And you're probably thinking, why did you need to use Christopher Yee's car? And the reason for that was we actually rented a car when I docked into LA and then we drove to Vegas and then we had to uh, ditch the car because it's pretty expensive to rent a car, especially over CES where I was not gonna be using it for a solid five days. And basically after CES, that's when I started the competition with Christopher Yee. However, one thing before that was, I must admit, if you guys are in LA or Las Vegas, then there are deals galore to be had. Both these areas were very healthy for local deal hunting, where in LA, I'd found some deals that I'd actually brought to the competition because we didn't have a whole lot of time to make magic happen. But I did, in the end, make magic happen, where I found an RX 480 for 75 US dollars, a budget 400 watt power supply, a 120 gigabyte SSD, and then I used an i5-6400 motherboard and DDR4 memory combo coupled with a cooler master half. And we put this whole build together for 200 US dollars. 
and Yi was with me this whole time I was getting these deals. And the funniest thing about this competition was each and every time I was picking up these deals, I could see Chris's jaw dropping that much more. But what made this build so special for me personally was that I was overseas, I was in a market that I'm not used to, and so I had to make magic happen on the fly. And we did just that on Chris's home turf. And I gotta say, Chris, the Yee Slayer did win on performance, and I did beat you in price. Two of three, baby. Now coming in at number two was a PC that I did whilst I was over in Japan. And this was built with my little seven-year-old son, who had an absolute blast building this PC, but also we got him some really good price performance. And one thing I will say about the Japanese market is it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. When I was out hunting those deals in 2015 at the junk stores, I was picking up some really good stuff. However, in 2019, fast forward four years, there is a lot of deals that are hard to get. And I actually found that going to Tokyo was better than going around and hunting deals locally out in the country, where the country places are now pulling apart all those deals and they're selling all the good stuff on Yahoo auctions for pretty much market prices. And the funny thing is about used market prices in Japan, I'm finding on average they are more expensive than that of the US, Australia, and the UK. However, that aside, we did manage to put together something that was really powerful. It had a GTX 980 and Ryzen 7 1700 8 core, as well as an ASRock X370 motherboard and an SSD hard drive, good power supply and good bling with a decent new case to match. So we got all this for a little over 400 USD, but the funny thing is about it is it's upgradable on both the GPU and the CPU front. And so in the future, he's got the easy option of just changing over that CPU, changing over that graphics card and still having something that plays really well. Though I shouldn't really be talking about upgrading too much since the PC was already spec'd out and it played games extremely well. One in particular was we got to share some Fortnite games together and it was a lot of fun. He really enjoyed himself. I had a blast as well. This was one that came in at such a good level personally. And now coming in at number one is the $55 Fortnite potato. This build is coming in at number one because it signifies so much about tech, yes, city. And it's actually a trend that I've been noticing and we'll talk about the trend later. We'll get through the build first. We got this build from a bargain parts hunt where it was just so filthy and it had an i7-950, a GTX 770, a really good power supply, motherboard, RAM, but it had no drives. And it was all inside this real big NVIDIA stacker case, which was a special edition. And so I was really interested in it. Now, one really odd thing about this build was, and you guys pointed this out in the comments too, it's the first time in my life where I've seen a dead Noxure fan. Before that, I've used countless Noxure fans and they just keep going forever. So maybe there was something else at play here. Maybe there was something like a power surge that had gone through and it just randomly decided to target the Noxure fan because I'm not believing that that Noxure fan died short of its intended lifetime. That just doesn't make any sense. But speaking of the lifetime of this build, it definitely looked like it was used for a very long time. The dust build up, the dirt build up. It took me so long to clean this thing inside and out. However, that aside, once we did get finished cleaning it thoroughly, it just presented really well. We added in some green LED bling and we also made this joke about a Star Wars spoiler, which I'm not gonna repeat because if you haven't seen Star Wars yet, it kind of spoils it, but we did make a prediction in that video and it was half right. But back to the topic at hand, this build signifies a couple of things and we're gonna talk about the trends and what's going on here. First of all, if you look back in the history of Tech Yes City, what you will notice is whenever I've done these ridiculously good price performance builds, they have come at a cost and that cost is time and cleaning. I can just sit back and go through like the CSGO Potato or the League of Legends PC. There were two iconic videos here on the channel and they both required a lot of testing, a lot of patience and a lot of cleaning. This Fortnite Potato was no different. It required a lot of my time where even after we cleaned the whole build, we came into some problems diagnosing and also some problems overclocking where we had to settle for lower overclocks. But in the end, we did get there and we got some of the best price performance I've done, not just all year, but also on the history of Tech Yes City. But one thing that has come out of that, and it's kind of like a catch 22, is that if you wanna get into PC gaming for really cheap, 
then you generally will have to do a bit of cleaning and a bit of testing and diagnosing. And the sad thing is getting into PC gaming, you're probably not going to know how to do those things, which is why I love to show you guys all the testing and all the problems I come into here on the channel, especially when it comes to a budget build and getting that stuff to work. So you can replicate what I do and then get into PC gaming with the best price performance possible. Though the last trend that makes this build so special and number one is the fact that you don't need a whole lot of money, especially if you wanna play those popular multiplayer titles like CSGO, Dota 2, League of Legends, and also Fortnite, which tend to have the biggest player bases out of any, not just PC games out there, but also games across all platforms in the world. The last thing we're gonna talk about here is a really good deal that I came into yesterday, and in hindsight, it's even better than I would have imagined where about five months ago, I'd sold a really nice uh, Z87 gigabyte board to uh, someone for 120 Aussie dollars. They were desperate for it. They said they wanted a flagship, really good board. So I was like, sure, I go over and hook them up and they gave me some cash. But then five months later, they've messaged me out of the blue. That was yesterday. And they've said, look, I'm sick of this. I went to sell my PC and they were getting some pretty good money for it, I believe. And when they showed the person the PC, it just wouldn't boot. And so they were so frustrated, the person had to go home empty handed. And of course the person who was selling it didn't get the money that they'd hoped for. And so they'd messaged me that they couldn't figure out the problem. They had no idea, they just wanted to get rid of it. And so they said, would you take that and the motherboard I originally bought, because they still had it, for 450 Aussie pickup. And I said to myself, well, I'll go over to your place and I'll give you 400 cash if uh, the GPU works, because that's the most important thing. It's a Strix uh, 1066 gigabyte, because if that doesn't work, then I'm really out with this deal. And so I went and he said, yes, the GPU works, and we tested it, and it did work indeed. And so that left me with the rest of the build. There was something wrong. And so I ended up getting this whole PC, really, for about uh, 280 Aussie dollars. So it's got an i7-2600K. Uh, it's got a whole in-win RGB fan and LED strip kit with a... Um, box at the back and it's also a funny thing is it's got a z77a azus motherboard and i had 16 gigabytes uh four sticks in there i changed that to two eight gigabyte sticks and the problem with it was was when i pulled it all apart because basically what you're going to listen to sometimes especially if you've got fans plugged in is you're going to hear these noises and they're going to tell you things even if you don't have postcodes so this one looked like it was booting normally i could hear the fans start up normally go down and then they sort of ramped up again. I was like, okay, what's going on? No signal. So I pulled it all apart and it ended up being two bent pins on the motherboard. So I bent them back and sure enough, we had a whole build that was working absolutely fine again. So $280 Aussie, which would be like, I think around 200 USD for a View 21 tempered glass case, uh, 240 gig SSD, hard drive, 16 gig RAM, motherboard, CPU, water 240 mil liquid cooler and a 1060 ROG Strix. This one is definitely a absolute victory here. And so that's it for 2019 with Tech Yes City. And I hope you guys have a happy new years. And we've also got the question of the decade, which comes from each and every one of you. And I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching the content and supporting me over the years and also supporting me in 2019. This channel has just been an epic journey that's only gotten better each and every year and it's because you guys are interacting in the comments, telling me what you wanna see, telling me what you don't like and we're improving and we're getting the content out the best it can be here on the channel. And in 2020, I promise you this, we're gonna have a heap of new metas coming because that's what Tech Yes City is all about. It's about getting that best price performance no matter the cost. You know what, I'm gonna keep that in there because that is one of the craziest oxymorons I have ever made in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one and we've just got so much more to come. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. And also one more thing as well is I will be doing a giveaway in January rather than this, year, uh, this month because this month has just been so busy uh, behind the scenes on the channel as well. I haven't had a chance to breathe besides Christmas day, which I spent with my family and just relaxing. And then uh, tonight I'm gonna hang out with a few friends and just relax a little bit. And I'm hoping and wishing you guys have the best happy new years as well as a really good 2020. Catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.